And welcome back to the Factor Uncensored. We have seen TikTok grow from funny videos and dances to people using it with purpose to create their own communities. One area that's growing, the infertility community, with women creating a space for other women not to feel alone in the battle. We talked to one woman who suffered with it and helps other women overcome it. And joining us now here on The Factor on Censor to talk about the issue of infertility and the new meeting place I've been found to address it is Monica Cox, and she's a functional diagnostic nutrition practitioner and infertility survivor. Before we talk about TikTok and why people are now going there to talk about infertility, tell us your story about surviving and getting across and beating infertility. How difficult was it for you not being able to have that child you wanted? Um, it was just a little bit blindsiding, really. I was a completely normal, healthy 27-year-old uh, young woman, and all of a sudden, I couldn't get pregnant. And um, at the time, uh, Instagram wasn't even invented, not even TikTok. So there wasn't really good spaces to go and get the information that I actually really needed mm -hmm. or the support. So it was difficult for a few years. And then luckily the internet kind of grew a little bit bigger and people started talking about it. And all of a sudden I got the information that I needed and my journey just quickly turned around and I was able to have an IVF baby and I got pregnant naturally after eight years. Wow, wow, that's a blessing. <laughs> now for those who are turning to TikTok and when we think about TikTok, I think about teenagers doing dances and funny videos, but you guys are using it, the community, those who may be uh, struggling with infertility, you're using it as a valuable resource. Yes, exactly. I actually went back or went on in 2019 September to prove myself right that it was a teenager app that people were singing and dancing and no one was talking about infertility. And to my surprise, there was already over a million hits on the hashtag infertility. Mm -hmm. So I thought, wow, this is going to be a great space. And to be honest, I love it. You get to be super creative. You get to be yourself. You can sing, you can dance. Um, I grade a lot of vegetables and show people how they can take care of their health to improve their fertility on it. For those who are using that app and who may be concerned about turning to such a serious topic and subject matter, is there a safe space there for that where you just don't have all these people you know, just harassing you about infertility? Um, yes and no. You know, there's features that you can make your account private and only allow those who you want in to see your content. Um, it's a safe space to go watch content that maybe you're interested in and get the support that you need. Um, but yeah, you still get trolls. You still get people telling you um, just adopt <laughs> or, you know, uh, take a vacation. Um, but all in all, it is a, a safe and a welcoming, I find it very welcoming space and people are really um, inquisitive about my approach. So yeah, I think it is a good platform. And for those who are wondering what your approach is, give us an example uh, of, of your approach on TikTok and dealing with the subject matter of infertility. Uh, well, it's all educational, so I try to help educate you that your fertility really starts um, mentally, emotionally, and physically. It's not just about your lady bits, but also I bring a little bit of humor. I like um, maybe poking fun at some of the darker and insecurity sides of infertility. I think sometimes you can get into a really dark place, and sometimes you just need a laugh, and I hope to provide that for my followers. Absolutely. Now, for those who are just experiencing their own form of, uh, or their, their infertility, what would be your advice, the first step to take if you're looking for answers out there? We know the internet is a different place now, just full of information, but it may not be the information you need. So for those who are just finding out that there's some infertility issues, where would you suggest they start? 
uh, by looking at their normal health issues. So that was my case. I thought I was perfectly healthy. I obviously had all the working lady bits, but um, looking deep within yourself, sometimes it's really obvious if you have thyroid issues, if you have gut issues, skin issues, just looking at yourself and being really honest, can I improve my, my health in other aspects? And that usually trickles down to your fertility. And of course, you can find Monica on TikTok. She is at Finding Fertility. That is on your screen.